Some people think brown rice is kind of boring, but I don't at all. I think it's kind of a blank canvas to make beautiful things with. So I'm going to show you how to make a baked brown rice, and it's a lemon-kissed saffron brown rice. Really wonderful uh, grain to go with seafood or salads or things like that. It has a, a nice zippy taste to it. So I've got a cup and a half of long grain brown rice in a baking pan. Yip, yip, yippee. And then in um, this little pot over here, I've got a cup of water and a cup and a half of chicken broth. Note, note, uh, you always need to taste the broth that you're going to use in any dish because even if you're using a vegetable broth, sometimes they can be really, really salty and sometimes they're not salty at all and you need to know. So taste it. And then if it's salty, don't use so much salt in it. So there's my liquid for the uh, recipe. Also what goes in there is a, a teaspoon of salt because I tasted my broth and it wasn't very salty at all. And um, two teaspoons of butter. You could use olive oil if you wanted, but that fat in there is nice. It keeps the um, grain separate. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's one. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do then, this is my favorite part, can you tell? I was getting excited, is I'm gonna wake up the saffron. This is saffron, it's not very much because it's very expensive. Um, this is just a, a, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. And I'm gonna put it in this little foil packet which looks like I'm gonna take drugs or something, but I'm not. And um, I'm gonna hold the packet over the heat. You know, spices, spices love heat. Spices need heat. That's why so many recipes start uh, with spices in it. Start by dry toasting the spices or, or sauteing them in a little fat. All you do is hold this over here until it starts to smell good. Not yet. Oh, almost, yes. So I'm going to put that in the liquids. Okay. Now this liquid which is the chicken broth, water, a little butter, and saffron goes over the rice, and then I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna close it up with foil. Yeah. And you wanna put that on there pretty tight. Of course, you can use a, a like an oven-proof pot that's got a, a lid that fits tightly, and um, I, I don't have one of those, so. There you go. What did you? I know I came in here for something. 375, one hour. So if, maybe if you meditate, you'll think of it. Okay, one hour. Wait till you see this. It's so pretty. And then, oh, isn't that beautiful? And then I'm going to lemon kiss it. And how I lemon kiss it? Put the zest of a whole lemon and the juice of a whole lemon right on there. What, what? I love you and I love Dad. Yes. But I was really hoping I wouldn't be living with you guys when I found my first gray hair. Oh. Well. Oh, wait. I'm surprised. I, oh, that's not even gray. I pulled the wrong one. I pulled the wrong one. Well. Show me the right one, honey. So you just toss this in here. Isn't it pretty? Yellow, yellow, saffron, yellow. Yes, just like the robes of those people. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say these things. Yeah, can you see those little orange saffron little? Oh, it's such a cool spice. And you can, you know what else is cool about this? You can serve this um, with a meal. Do you know it? Like as a side dish or a main dish, and the next day you can make a salad out of it. Oh, it's really nice with like chickpeas or um, currants, toasted pine nuts, <laughs> It was fresh just a parsley. piece of down from my comforter. I remembered what it was. <laughs> what? Aren't you glad you don't live here? <laughs>